Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Let's get to this, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's good, man? Y'all know who it is. If you don't know by now, I am your boy, Slick50. You know what I'm saying? Um, If you don't mind as you come in, hit that like button. It's just something I want to talk on, man. Before we get into that, happy Easter to all my people. If you believe in that, happy Easter. Happy Easter to all the kids. If you believe in Easter Bunny, I'm with all that. You know what I mean? Uh, usually we have this on Wednesdays. You know what I mean? But I know I'm not going to be able to speak Wednesday. So I figure I'd go ahead and get this out now. You know what I'm saying? I go to the dentist tomorrow, so you know how that go. But, um, yeah, man, it's been a lot. and I've been having complications, you know what I'm saying, for the past two weeks. Really can't, hadn't been on the mic for real. Just got back on the mic over there on GMT Sports yesterday. So, um, yeah. I wanted to get this up with something that just all the stuff that's just been boiling down and you know what I'm saying? When you ain't got when you can't talk, you just sit there and watch and it uh open your ears up to a lot of things. In other words, it forces you to listen. You know what I mean? I'm not a TV person for real. I'm not into none of that. I'm into more reading and stuff like that. Podcasts and things like that. But I want to touch on a subject of reflection. Now, hear me out. A lot of us, I'm going to start this off. I'm going to try and find an example. Like, um, what was the girl name? LSU, Angel Reese. Shout out to them for winning the championship, by the way. Um, and they made a big deal between her and Caitlin Clark. And I totally understood it, the argument, but it was a dumb argument. On one hand, of course, we know what some white people was going to do with that, what the media was going to do with that. For as her doing the, um, Tony Yayo, you can't see me. You know what I'm saying? They keep saying John Cena. And that's Tony Yayo. If you're a G-Unit fan, you know where that came from. Um. And, and it's ironic to even throw him in there because his character was Thugonomics. Something that they call... <laughs> I just it, That just hit me. I'm sorry. Something that they call Angel Reese. She's a thug that was unsportsmanlike and all that stuff, right? And the argument is when Caitlyn did it, it was the heart of a champion. She was everything. Um, at the end of the day... Every channel you watched, even on YouTube, it was the same race argument. The same race argument. And at some point, we got to realize that seeking validation from validation from those who don't give a dang about you, who don't care about you, who, who don't even care to figure anything out about you or learn about you, is redundant. Right? We gravitize to, towards people who hate us. And let me let me let me explain that part. Not like you want to be a buddy, but once somebody say something, we quick to jump on that. Right? But as a people, we don't we're not quick to co congratulate one another, help one another. Um ask help from one another or any of those things that we should be doing. Um, we need to sit back and realize that when you sitting, when you sit there and you giving life to those bad comments that they were making, it, 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 it further, it further, um, what's the word, makes them feel like they were right in their mind. 
because everybody that was chomping down on that that bit, oh, she's a heart of a champion when she did it, and X Y Z when um, Angel Reese did it, it was a problem. The rebuttal was kind of it was unsettling. Now I'm not I'm not saying that that the white media was right, or even some of the black media, just the media period was right. What I'm saying is that don't speak life into that because it's, there's it's it's a never ending battle, right? Why give those type of comments life when 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 you should say the hell with that? I don't care what they think. I feel like Reese, Miss Reese, should not even. I mean, don't ask me no questions about it. You know what I'm saying? And then when I did see her interview, she did. When I did see her interview, she did like say, you know, she ain't got no hatred towards Caitlyn, none of that, which she shouldn't. It's a competition. You're gonna be like that. I mean, I don't expect. I don't expect nothing less. I don't even like the divide of women and men for sports. Like women can't act like that. It's a doing a sport. It's a sport. You know what I'm saying? Before is everybody on the outside that wasn't on that court or any of that, especially black folks jumping on that. It's time to celebrate our own and quit looking for validation from those who don't don't care to learn about us because in one hand you gotta remember those who are speaking don't know nothing about the way of life it's time for us to realize we are two totally different worlds if that white person wasn't raised in the same neighborhood you was raised in they not gonna know much they speaking from the outside bro I mean that it that it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's it's starting to be too much of they need to do this, they need to have this, they need to accept this, they need to XYZ. It need to be more of us saying the hell with that. I don't care what they think. They saying that because they hate, and that's all I should have been said. But shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what they said. Me growing up, this is this is like a old antic of the media i remember back when kentucky won and you know they had all them white folks hanging from the the night light outside you know what i'm saying lamp posts outside they flipped cars and they said oh man those are just oh i forgot what they said they ain't call them thugs and nothing like that they just said that they was like some nice teenagers or something like that that was, they was very excited and they did xyz right and it's very easy to point the finger and say but when it's us Y'all say this. But my point is, why worry about what they think? Just celebrate our own. And I don't see enough of celebrating our own as a whole. You get what I'm saying? Everything that we celebrate is is separated. It's either woman power, gay power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing as, a, as black people celebrated as a whole. It's like divide and conquer is at an all time high, and 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 if you keep in the tallies, they win. But the only way that we win if we say the hell with them, like a hundred percent, just yo, they do them, we don't care because that's how they do what they don't. You think they worry about us? Like be be a hundred percent real with yourself. Do you think they really give a damn about us? Go look at your executive producers of more than half the shows you watch and see what color they are. All your love and hip-hops and all of that stuff, you think they really give a damn? You think they telling them girls, no, don't act like that. Don't behave like that. No, they're not. They saying, go on up there and act like a buffoon. Go right ahead. And the very much people who watching that is us. And, I, and, and and a part of me can't be mad at them. It makes money. And that's what they in the game for, to make money. When I came up, man, we knew what was we knew what was entertainment and what wasn't. We understood it very well for his rap, movies, all that stuff. But I don't like I don't understand how people today don't see how the tables turn. 
the young crowd now feel like they have to actually perform what they do in their music, bro. And nobody sees sees that as a problem. Like, <laughs> and it's still entertainment today. It, it's like somebody told them you can have one foot in and one foot out, and you can't. You can't be a gangster and do business. You just not. It don't work the same. It don't work hand in hand. You can't. You gonna you gonna track problems from each side because you got to choose, man. It's balancing options. Well, something's got to fall. You you can't hold them both. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't work that way. And we study say, well, they do this, they do that, and nobody says nothing to them. I can tell you easily how the infrastructure is built for them. And you think that was built for them while they were worried about us? No. And I will say, we ain't back in the 60s or 50s and all that stuff. And racism, trust me, it still does this. I'm from the Midwest. I see it every day. Every day. But we can get out here and do what's necessary for us. You know what I'm saying? They live by one thing. It's, it's, it's monopoly. You know what I'm saying? We got to call about our piece, but we can't do this. Have a handout and then think like they just supposed to listen. How some how how is somebody gonna listen to you when they they constantly give in to you? Make no sense, bro. So on this Easter day, I just want to for real, for real. I know a lot of y'all went to church, but I want to get on and say something real and positive. And that's the whole thing. All that could be spent to a positive. All the black commentators, I felt like I know they signed to people, and I know some of them can't say what they want to say, but. You know, I felt like even the ones on her YouTube could have and just been like, yo, we don't care what they say to hell with them. Because, I mean, like, like I said, a lot of us is looking for validation from them. Some are seeking validation from them and don't even know it. They just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because talk behavior and, you know, that's never a good thing, because if you lead your life by talk behavior, you're not living your life for yourself. So you need to understand that. Seeking validation for others, even even your own people, bro, ain't nothing where it, it, it does nothing for you. You chasing a dream. You know what I'm saying? You living your life at that moment, chasing validation by somebody else's rules. You just need to learn to get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? As a, as a young man growing up, I went through all of it. You know what I mean? And, you, and, and through that journey, you learn to love yourself. Don't care what nobody else thinks. Do you? I still hear it today. You know what I'm saying? Quit telling people uh, judge being judged is wrong. Hey, it is, but also tell them, hey, you will be judged out here. Start back teaching first impressions of everything. Start back teaching that. Put your best foot forward, bro. Put some clothes on. Comb your hair. Do all those things. All them little subtle things is just gone. Because we talk, they're trying to teach you just to accept somebody to by the way they look. You can't act that way when it comes to business. You can't act that way where you stepping in my facility and think I just want to hire you and yo, you coming there with a bonnet on, ain't washed your face, and then you want to say discrimination. I got a, 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 a reputation. My business got a reputation. Who would want that? You know what I'm saying? Start using your mind. You know what I'm saying? Start quit. I wish all these black uh, entrepreneurs quit making their businesses all the way up to a million, then sell it. Keep it going. A lot of them do it. A lot of that ones you watch that 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 scream that, oh man, we used to have all this in the neighborhood. We sold it. They doing the same thing. It's like we the farming system, bro. We already know we spend the most money a year. We know all these things. We come up with all the brightest ideas. One no dubs on no car when I came up, but they caught on to that real quick when they saw we was doing it real quick. You know what I'm saying? We come with all the brightest ideas, and they—they just like the farming system. What's the what's the latest thing they doing? It's time to start. Like, hey, yo, let's 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 start doing our own ideas. Let's start putting something together and getting a piece of this pie. 
and send it hell with them. I don't care what they think. They going to hate all day. But you got to keep pushing. We can't can't keep blaming them, bro. Even if they are wrong. At some point, you just got to be like, that's just what it is what it is. As I say, they ain't going to change. It ain't going to be nothing. It is a lot of opportunity out here to gain capital. But you ain't going to get where the person you looking at, quote, unquote, white person at the top of the tree, and you just think you somebody supposed to snap their fingers, and it's just supposed to be equal, because get that word out. You can have equal parts in water, equal parts in all these other things, variables, uh, splitting a pack of nine laters or something like that. Before, it's just being equal as a people. It's not going to happen. Being equal as gender, it's not going to happen. Let's just be honest about it. You know what I mean? And that's based on physical attributes and a whole lot of other things. But at the end of the day, when it comes to race, man, it's getting to the point where I question my own, where I'm like, you want to be like them or something? Come up with your own idea. Come up with something that make people want to invest. Like, for real. Because at the end of the day, it, 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 it pisses me off. Like, man... I know some people wish like, damn, I wish this pain it was still going on in his mouth so he shut up. But I'm being real. Now I can talk. I'm not, I'm just letting it out, bro. I was watching uh, another example. Uh, shout out to Cyra Garvey. I've been watching him, been a fan of him. Very educated brother, for real, for real. He know his ish. He know his ish 100%. And him and Miss, and I'm a fan of Miss Pearly things, believe it or not. And everybody on her trail right now about racist comments. She had a racist dude on there and all this stuff, right? She's the perfect example of capitalism. Like, you know, she, yes, she has black folks on there. A, a lot of topics she touch on, you know, whatever. I imagine she feel like she's getting validation by having black people on her show. So that gives her some say so or some able to talk about these topics right and how do i like the show because it gains i like that she does it and it, and you get a true reaction out of people right people have this problem because of what sarah garvey said she's signing people to her platform right by percentages which is true it's not just youtube that's like that it's other businesses that do things by percentages. He said that she wanted to sign up for 30% of the revenue of the show that he was going to put out, right? And he made it sound like, oh, my God. He compared it to, like, modern-day slavery in, in a sense, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Basically, she's enslaving people and shit. And I was like, what? Here's my thing about it. Like if you have, if you sign anybody, it's the records, record label, all sorts of businesses, bro. It's in it's first one rule. One thing I learned about working for people, it's in a business best interest to keep you where they need you at. If you good at doing something and and there's a room for a promotion, but if I know I move you to this other, this other promote, if I promote you and it take you from what you used to do. And what you used to do is going to start slacking. Most likely you're not going to get that promotion because I need you where you at and you damn good at what you do. So that business nine times, ten, nine times out of 10, if they can't replace that. They gonna keep you where you are. Right. But my thing was like, it was kind of explained like that, but it's not like that when you got business, bro. And this, in the instance that 30%, she got a film crew, cameras. Like, if you watch Pretty Things, like, it ain't just her running. Like, I'm running this all by myself right here. Rollcaster Pro, mic, computer, screens. I'm doing this all with two hands, all right? She has a crew. She has a crew. She paying people on the panel. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has a legit turned the apartment into a studio and paying people to run this, people to edit everything, upload all she doing is talking. All she doing is coming with talking points. People rip. They getting paid. 
She got paid cameraman, all that stuff, right? So when you know that a person got to pay all of that, you can't say like, oh, she just offered me 30%. You thought like, I don't understand how a person can think you was what you was going to get. 75%? Like she got to make revenue. She got to pay a crew. She got to pay everybody else. What did you think? And he said that she told him 30% was on the high end, which I can imagine is 30% out of 100 and she still got to pay everybody else. Like that's, come on, bro. These are the things where I'd be like, you know, we making arguments out of nothing, bro. Out of nothing. And at the same time, you making an argument about the stuff that you preach against. You you talk about how white folks hold us back and this, this, that, and the third, but you made a video about she should give me more. That's a contra- that's contradicting. This ain't no hate. I still like his videos, bro. And he made a video and she jumped down on him and um put copyright strikes on him. Now, I believe he's gonna get his channel back. All that, and I hope he do. But you can't, if you know the rules, hey, you can't put people in your thumbnail and all this, that, and the third and think like they was going to let that ride, especially if you're talking bad about somebody. I'm not mad about that from nobody. Like, like how dare you think you're going to use me to sell your product and talk crap about me? No, nah, that's not going down. You know what I mean? Like, that's just super bogus. So, like, that was me. You know, because I was taught when somebody tell you no, that should be inspiration to get your own. Now, Sarah Gar already had a big following. Quiet kept him getting on her channel, gained her more following. Like I said, she's not stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a regular TV show. Why do you think TV shows get certain people to come on, come on there to the Tonight Show and stuff like that? If they didn't get them people on there, people wouldn't watch that show. That night show host is not good enough. He needs to have people come on, actors and things like that. And that gains viewers. It's the same thing with the YouTube world. That's what I'm saying. I'm not blaming. Like, people look at YouTube like they don't understand YouTube is like the new TV. Of course she's going to do that. And if if she see the value in you, she's going to offer you something. It's up to you to take it or not. Right? Now, for as her and the racist stuff, man, you got to understand, this girl probably about 24, 25, she don't know nothing. She talking outside of her neck. I saw a video where this was a while ago with her and this black girl. And she was trying to speak to her about racism and all that. And I was like, now this is where you out of your lane. But again, she feel like she could speak on that because she placed herself right next to a white girl. I mean, right next to a black girl. And as long as that black girl don't have a problem with what she's saying, she feel like what she's saying is all right. Now, that black girl should have been like, nah, bruh. There was a line in there where she said, yeah, slaves were, slaves were free, but they ain't know where to go. So they ran right back to the slave master because they was happy where they was. Now, it might be true that they ran back because they didn't have nothing to know, but that don't mean they was happy where they was. And I feel like the black girl should have said something. But she never said anything. And she let, let pearly things keep running off at the mouth. But again, like I said, the people who question us, the people who talk smack about us, don't know nothing about more more than 90% of our backgrounds. Most of, us, most of us come from the bottom, bro, the bottom of the bottom. As myself, I ain't just saying that. I'm from Washington Park, Illinois. You understand me? 51st Street in Caseyville, my friend. If you ever been, you know what I'm talking about. You understand me? Move to north side, St. Louis. From there. It ain't it ain't easy, bro. But you 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 your household should teach you that, hey, my first rule I was taught, man, you ain't gotta look like where you stay, my dude. Our neighborhood might not look that good, but I mean you gotta resemble that. Go for what you know. You know what I mean? So I just feel like we gotta stop seeking validation from them. And that's what they want. I'm being real. That's that's what they want, bro. They, they don't want us to become inventors. And, and there's a lot of inv- us that are inventors. They don't want us to patent our own stuff. They don't want us to have 
thriving businesses. And when we do, somebody make them an offer that they can't refuse, quote unquote, and we don't say no. And then they take it and turn it to a billion dollar company. Like, that's not what's up. That's not what's up. Because when when they make their billions, they stay in nice neighborhoods and they contribute to their neighborhoods and their schools and stuff. They do that. It ain't just that their neighborhood is good. They do that. But they also come to black neighborhoods and brown neighborhoods and profit off of us at the same time. It's time to turn the table. The only way we're going to do that is not keep leeching on. It's like every other week is something. We leech on to it. Just Not leech, but latch on. I'm sorry. Latch on to it. We latch on to it like this is what's up. And we're just going to make a big issue and a problem out of it. Not realizing we the one making the problem out of it. They they can say what they want. But it's not, it's not, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. It ain't about anger no more, bro. It's about just setting them straight. Like, look, that's how you look at it. That ain't how I looked at it. That girl, this is a competition. She did what she wanted to do. She did the Tony Yayo. There it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. It's not even a conversation. Not going to be going back and forth with nobody talking, but boy, Kaylin did it. Because you know what they want to say? When the white girl did it, it was perfectly fine. Man, the hell with that, man. That that race argument has been going on forever. And again, I get it, but when does it stop, bro? When do we start helping each other? When do we start looking at our fellow man and appreciate each other? When do we look at each other and have, and, 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 and at least help your neighbor with sugar and whatever? Now, we don't even talk to each other. We walk around each other. We dare each other to do shit, but then I find the same black people that dare me to do something them. We're scared of the white man. Scared of everybody else. You know, man, you better not do that. You're going to be put under the jail cell. But then when you look at me, you don't say that. When are we going to get all of that together so we can grow? And I ain't even talking about as a people, just period, so we can grow, so we can have value in ourselves. It used to mean something, bro. It used to mean something growing up, going outside, looking good. You know what I'm saying? Iron your clothes. Now, of course, this is the 90s when I say iron. Most of y'all probably don't even know what iron is, but iron your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Looking clean, jack. You know what I mean? Hair brush, all that stuff. But now, none of that. Ain't no ideas. Could you imagine all the businessmen that are in your in your neighborhoods right now that just don't know that they run in the enterprise? And if they had the right person to say, hey, man, what you doing might not be right. But look, we can take them skills, bro, and turn it into something for real, for real, some legit shit. No, no. Nope. We were too busy believing in fictitious shit. Oh, the devil made him do it. No, nah, he ain't that choice. Not only that, his friends egging him on, championing him on for it. And I used to be that bad dude, bro. But it took me to have kids to straighten my life up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And going. And, and, and I ain't going back. But at the end of the day, if I can do it, I know everybody else can do it, goddamn me. You may not make it farther than the next man, but you could leave. Some people was meant to just set their family up. Your life was meant to get shit straight. So after you pass, your family, you know, you set no generational wealth. It got to it gotta start somewhere. You can't have these ignorant things. We say, well, if I can't spend in hell with them shit, I'm be dead and gone anyways. That's the most selfish shit I ever heard. Go get life insurance. Learn about life insurance. It's not called death insurance. Life insurance is, is, hey, that's a whole nother show we can do about life insurance, Jack. But life insurance is 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 more than just for funerals. Again, I'm going to say it. Life insurance, not death insurance, my dude, my girl. You understand me? So, you know what I'm saying? Stop for validation and all that look look for it for yourself confidence bro get your confidence i don't care what nobody say man i'm i'm the most eyeball person probably was in my hood you understand me but i figured that out i had to figure that out 
I didn't care they didn't listen to what I listened to or did what I did. You got a problem with it, move on. Get in where you fit in. I was taught that. You know what I'm saying? Get your respect out here. Loyalty will come later. Get your respect, bro. But I ain't going to keep this going on too long, but I will end it on this note. Get your respect out here. Be yourself. Quit worrying about all these nationalities and creed. Come up with something positive. Get that bag. You understand me? Never stop chasing it. Because just because you got some, there's plenty more to get. You know what I mean? Build your credit up, but it ain't always about a credit card. A very good friend of mine taught me this. He said, you know, you can have all the credit cards, but your face card got to be good. Get your respect, bro. Man, look, like I said, man, I ain't gonna. Pro- I probably won't be on Wednesday. If my mouth is healed up by then, I'll be back on here Wednesday. But I just want to lay that on y'all head, man. Quit seeking validation from those who don't give a damn about you. Start getting love from your own. Start in your household. Because all this stuff right here, this is a wide topic. I can keep going in on, but I'm not. Because I ain't trying to talk everybody ear off on this Easter Sunday. I know y'all busy. You know what I'm saying? And yes, in the beginning, I did say shout out to the Easter Bunny because I ain't one of the ones that hate, you know, on the kids' fun. You know what I mean? So, um, y'all know what it is, man. Hey, I am your boy Slick50. If you don't mind, hit the like button. Uh, replay of this will be up tomorrow. And make sure you subscribe, bro. And if you feel it, hey, that join button down there, bro. Hit that join button. Support the channel. You know what I mean? If you support Netflix, you definitely can support podcast. So, this is GMT Podcast. I'm up out of here. Y'all be easy. Deuces.